I've gotten several requests to make a video on exactly how I made my snowmaker. Uh, so I want to just give a brief overview of uh, kind of how it works and then uh, exactly how the parts or how the parts are laid out uh, so that you can make one of these yourself if you so desire. Uh, what it does is it actually makes compressed air and that's uh, this line here so it has a line for compressed air and then it mixes just standard tap water uh, just using a, a standard hose fitting uh, on this on this end here and then what happens is the two then come into here get mixed and then flow out the nozzle uh, at a high pressure what happens then is the two get mixed internally uh, they're both compressed up uh, I think I've ran it at about 25 to 40 psi and then when they come out of the nozzle uh, into the cold air uh, all of a sudden the pressure on the water and the air mixed together uh, drops really quickly to at atmospheric pressure and at that point it releases a ton of energy and then uh, instantly freezes the or atomizes the water molecules and then freezes the water molecules uh, and then it falls with snow. Um, all the parts you see here are all uh, all of this is quarter inch uh, quarter inch just standard galvanized pipe just now I'll go over the parts starting with the uh, the air intake uh, just have a standard uh, fitting to com to hook up to my air compressor uh, and then I installed a quarter inch ball valve I believe this is a two inch uh, just piece of galvanized uh, quarter inch pipe uh, T fitting quarter inch T fitting another two inch piece of galvanized pipe and then a galvanized uh, cap and again uh, almost the smaller the better on this hole because your air compressor is going to have to be be able to keep up with that um, the on the other side uh, have a standard garden hose fitting and I believe that takes it to a, a half inch uh, pipe fitting then this is a half inch to quarter inch pipe reducer quarter inch valve quarter inch uh, L and then into the the T junction uh, when you actually run your snow machine or snowmaker, uh, what you want to do is first open this valve so that you, you get a, a flow of air uh, out of it. And then when you're ready to start making snow, you slowly open this one. And then what, what it'll do is you'll hear it start to spit uh, or it will, you know, you'll have a, a small stream and then keep moving it open until you hear it start to spit. And at that point, you know... Uh, you need to bring it back just a little bit because you're getting too much water in that line. Uh, if you get too much water and you, and you allow too much water to come into here, it can actually backflow uh, based on the pressure that it has here. That's why I would suggest keeping this open uh, the entire time. Um, I ran into an issue or two where my uh, it was so cold outside that, that I had shut this off one time or, or slowed it down. And I actually had some water go back through the system and into my... Uh, air hose and then my air hose was just on the ground and then the water froze in the, the air hose uh, causing the whole system to pretty much lock up. I, I didn't have any air and it was just uh, spitting water out out of the uh, the nozzle there. So uh, if you have any questions just feel free to email me uh, or if you think I didn't describe something uh, just shoot me a message and I'll be happy to describe it uh, in a future video. Please take a look at my other videos. Uh, lots of other projects to come uh, and subscribe. Thanks.